We kind of do this thing with uh, anytime we have guests on, we kind of just fire off some like rapid fire questions. So okay, yeah. some of some of them are golf, some of them are not golf. So just whatever comes to mind, there's no right or wrong <laughs> answer. So sure, yeah. um, first, we'll start with a golf one. Do you putt with the line on the ball, or do you just set it and like you're like I just pick a spot and you go for it? No, I 100% pick the line, and now I've gotten to where I have to keep messing with it. Like, I'll even go behind the hole and make sure I can see it, and then I'll come back around to the ball, and I'll make sure I mess with it. So I got to see, because I like to see that end over end roll. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I mess it up. You know what I mean? I see the things kind of going the other way. I'm like, ooh, that was definitely me, not like, the, <laughs> you know, the, the contour of the green. So yeah, definitely, definitely lines got to be facing where I want it to go. It's like golfing ASMR, watching that ball just kind of. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. That's so nice. Love when you love seeing it actually works. You're like, ah. And then the next one you yank, and you're like, God bless it. Yeah, <laughs> like, oh, damn, I'm off. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. So yeah, it's it's good to see to see the line. It gives you at least sees you going where it's going to the hole. Okay, yeah. cool. What's a TV or movie character that you most relate to? TV or movie character I most relate to. Um, I would I would say like people. I mean, I hopefully not because I'm chunky. Uh, but Chris Farley for sure. Uh, <laughs> I, I just I think I'm just I'm always jovial. I'm always trying to make the light of every situation imaginable. Sometimes it's probably not appropriate. Uh, so I think that's kind of the big thing. And I, I like doing skits. I like to make, like, I'll do with my daughter and we do songs every night. I have to sing a certain song, oh, yeah. uh, or do something with them, you know, to, because I think it's funny. Um, I'm sure to, to the, uh, effect of my wife, it's probably like to simmer down when you need you to be an adult for once. Uh, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, we'll play games in the grocery store, you know I mean? Absolutely. So I would say somebody like that for, for sure. Okay. Love that. Uh, yeah. are you a blade or a mallet guy for putting? Uh, usually I used to be a blade. I just got, uh, so luckily, uh, lab, I, I kind of reached out to them putters and they reached back out to me and were able to, uh, donate a putter to the foundation. So I was able to use, I'm going to use in that. Yeah. It's been really cool. I mean, yeah. like, kind of, like, obviously put in the, uh, the, uh, blue for, you know, for law enforcement for sure. Yeah. So I've gone to the, the mallet and man, I've, I've been making every putt. It's been awesome. So shout out to lab. <laughs> yeah. They allowed us to to do that man so they've been they've been good to us and to the foundation so yeah it's been awesome to see that oh yeah cool do you yeah. have a, a go-to golf ball you're using either a brand or a model yeah so uh like i said the, the new golf ball company they're like it's called mission i mean it's called missile golf and they, yeah. they sent us some golf balls and stuff and it's been pretty good they have two uh different ones they have the ballistic and they have the stinger those are the two types of uh, golf ball they have right now mm -hmm. and uh the ballistic is the one that i use it's kind of more like a pro, pro v1x uh, okay. But I would say most of the time, before, prior to that, it would definitely Pro V1, Tylus Pro V1X is the one I would definitely use because I have a, a faster swing speed. So I definitely right. say the Pro V1's always been the one I was going to. Nice. Hell yeah. Um, yeah. All right. So the last one, if you weren't golfing, uh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it another step further. If you, were, if you weren't golfing and you weren't a police officer, what would you be doing with your life? So, okay, so it can't be golf related? Or can it be golf related? I feel like both. Give us both. Yeah, follow your heart. <laughs> follow your heart. Give me both. Okay. Well, it was golf. If it could be golf related, I would 100 percent like work for some type of like uh, manufacturer doing something like that, or I'd be a golf pro. I wish I could go back. Like one of my buddies, he actually went to uh, Campbell University, and that was like what they did there is they have like a golf PGA program. Where you can actually go there and you can help to get to be uh, your PGA Tour card to be able to teach and instruct. So I think that's probably what I would have done. Just gone something like that to be able to like just kind of teach others the game of golf. And continue to grow it. So it's, it's been a huge passion for me, for sure. So I'd say that's probably something uh, along the lines of golf-wise. If I wasn't a police officer, what would I do outside of the golf realm? Uh, I guess I'd do some type of sales. I love talking to people. Uh, so I think that'd be the other thing I would do. Any type of like being able to you know, interact and be around people for sure would be something I do. But I just don't know what I would sell. I, I, I don't know. I think that's probably why I didn't go into it because my, my – uh, my cousin, they'll probably crap on me for this, but he sells candles. There's nothing wrong with candles, but I feel like I just be bored all day. I don't think there's like so much they can sell you on like the scent of a candle and how it looks. And I, would, I just feel like it'd be awkward after a while. So I yeah. had to figure out like my niche or whatever it was that I could like continue each day yeah. going and like, sell it for sure. I used to be in like musical instrument sales. I used to work for this company called Music and Arts. It was like a, uh, they do like the band and orchestra instruments of like of guitar center type of thing. And yeah. like it's you, you're selling to the person and not like the item. I mean, it's like it's it's yeah. like the Harvey Specter uh, suits model of like how you play poker is you play the person and not the not the hand. Oh, so yeah, well, it's, it's, it's if you can't if you can't enjoy what you're selling. 
it's gonna be kind of hard to sell. Oh that hell yeah, insane. hell yeah. You know absolutely. what I mean? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Cool. So what's uh what's the goal for the season for yourself and then also for the foundation this year? Yeah. So golf game wise, I got to get my short game together. The putting's getting there, but my gosh, if I like the chipping is just what gets me for sure. Is that if I can get my mm-hmm. short game a little bit where I'm not relying so much on like having to hit every single shot perfect because that's just that's just never gonna happen, you know. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I would say like really get my um, a wedge game back to what it used to be. And then for the foundation, just spreading the mission, to be honest with you, is, is to be getting it out there that, you know, first responders are people too. And I, I mean, that sometimes we get a bad rap, but I, and sometimes it's, it's respectfully, uh, it is it is uh, it's on us that we need to do a better job of being community policing and things like that and getting ourselves out there. But it's to show that, you know, that we do have bad days. And sometimes it's a hard time to, to deal with that, you know what I mean, outside of it, you know, but we can't show it sometimes at work because the next one, next call might be the one you're going to have to, you know what I mean, save a life, or whatever else it is. If you're boohooing or worrying about the last one, you're not able to be the best you have to be each day. So sometimes, you know, being able to have an outlet, whatever it is, if it's golf, if it's, you know, uh, shooting, you know what I mean, or if it's, uh, you know, swimming, whatever it is, you know what I mean, for people to, to do, they just need to make sure for first responders to find that outlet and make sure that we have the time to be able to do that, to re- kind of reset and recalibrate ourselves. Yeah, absolutely, man. That's great. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're, that's... <laughs> <laughs> this, this is like it's it's always funny when we do these things because it's sometimes yeah. not like it's it's never uh, like obviously other interviews that we've done like before this podcast and stuff it's always hard to like yeah. pull teeth but i feel like every interview that we've done it's just like gone so rapidly like everybody's been so awesome, nice though. and like yeah. fucking just yeah. it's it it's the ah oh, yeah, it's I love the it. golf community it's yeah so exactly cool. so yeah well you guys are really professionals for seriously it's just like easy you don't feel like you're so nervous but in a good way Oh, yeah, yeah, so it's yeah. a very chill atmosphere. So I appreciate you guys even letting me come on and like oh, have absolutely. time and to, to help yeah. spread the mission. So cool. So I just I, I really do appreciate you both. We'll have to get you off uh, off air. I'll have to get your information so I can send you guys some hats and some shirts. Oh, uh, oh hell yeah! Guys, my, yeah. You know, wearing them, whatever else we got, we'll we'll send you some stuff for sure. Yeah, real quick, just give everybody where they can find uh, the foundation on social media, the website. You know, just more information about it. Yeah. So on Instagram, it's First Responder Golf. Uh, same thing for TikTok. Take us, take a look. We're trying to do that a little bit more. We're growing pretty good. You know what I mean? Like I said, for for what our what we're doing, uh, mm-hmm. we're trying to come up with new ideas and things like that. Um, www.firstrespondergolf.org is where you can go our website and kind of tell us a little bit about us uh, as well and kind of like how Steve kind of got started with everything. So we're kind of trying to push that. We also have First Responder Golf Foundation is our uh, Facebook. Uh, we don't do quite as much with Facebook, I'll be honest, um, but yeah. Instagram for sure, TikTok. Cool. and our website take a look and uh we'd love to see people come out to our events and we're trying to push more things for sure cool. absolutely man well thanks so much for joining us we really appreciate it uh, we won't keep you up too much i'm sure you probably got to tee off here in a second so we'll let you, <laughs> oh, we'll let you go uh, tj gary thank you guys so much i just have a fantastic day thanks for watching today's episode to see more of our content be sure to follow us on instagram tiktok and subscribe on youtube we can be found at basic bogeys on all platforms thanks we hope to see you on the next one